You're on. Okay, good morning. This morning we're with Larry Sharp. He's the ice maintenance person here at Rice Lake. He's been doing this for what, Larry, about 40 years? Uh, no, 33. So maintenance is, Larry does all the big ticket items, but he's going to show you the, those smaller parts that every one of them has members has a role in playing here, and that's the cleanup and pebbling of the ice. And Larry's going to go through a four-step process it's really pretty simple to do, but if you do it right, it'll keep our ice just that much better. So Larry, why don't you take it from here? All right, I'm going to add an extra process to that. That's the first thing being would be, uh, before you come out on the ice, and that would be to clean your shoes. Make sure your shoes are clean. Uh, one of the things I noticed today coming out, we got a lot of popcorn in the, in the back room. And it, if you look on the walkway back here, it's all over out here. And that comes out on the ice, and it's really a bad thing on the ice. All right, after you've uh, played a game in Rice Lake, the winners buy a drink and the losers clean the ice. So the first thing that we're going to do is talk about cleaning the ice, what you do after a game. And that's basically the same, some, one guy, go and get a broom, clean out behind the hacks, and sweep out the hacks. All right, get both ends of this done. Now at the time, one guy could be on this end doing this end, and another person could go to the other end, and down there. Right, the next thing that we're going to do after we've swept it out, and I'm not going to run this all the way down the sheet, but all you basically do is come out, get your stuff go all the way down the sheet, and then turn around on the other end, come back, and then get it back in the back here, tip it up, clean the broom on, a bunch of stuff fly off of there. Believe me, all it takes is one of those little pieces of fuzz that's on the, that came off the broom. We'll follow a rock for the next person. After we've gotten that done, then another guy, and he's bringing a heavy guy. Another person on the team will come out and pebble the sheet. One thing I want to say about pebbling, pebbling is probably the one thing that screws up ice more than anything. So if you're not comfortable pebbling the ice, please get somebody that is. Let the other team, maybe one of the other guys on the other team is good at it. If you got a bad back or something, these things can be heavy and walking backwards is not fun. I'm gonna go the entire distance with this and show what we do. The first thing, Make sure that the pebble head is turned the right way so that you're not spraying straight down. What this does, make sure you pebble the back of the hack, and then go right over the top, and then keep down the sheet. Notice my right hand is, I'm walking on the left side of the center line, and my right hand is right over the center line, and I'm keeping my wrist straight, and just going with my elbow up against my body and just extension of my arm. And just moving back and forth and trying to get a nice even coat all the way across the sheet. We don't want to do it like this. Just trying to move it back and forth. And when you get to the other end, in this case I don't have the pad on there, I'll stop ahead of time. Pick up the pad, put it down, because you want to keep water out of the hacks, and then simply finish. Now, in this case, the other person, the fourth person that cleaned out the hacks, would be down here and get the nipper on the ice. Make sure the pebble is dry. In other words, it's froze up. It takes about 30 to 45 seconds. Then when you start, come out with the nipper. And the yellow line on the nipper will be right on the four foot line. And as you get out to the hog, come over and go to the center line. Pull it back, go straight across, 
back line stop. The reason I'm stopping and moving it like that is that will hold the snow in the middle of the blade so you won't have any extra snow on the ice. So there That's we have it. We have that four-step process, or as Larry added a step to kind of clean your feet coming in. And we encourage you to watch this video a time or two so that everybody in the club is going to get to be pretty good at nice maintenance. Grippers. So with that... Grippers. Yeah, the other thing, too, is if you have a slider built on your shoe, you have a gripper that's over that slider. Make sure you clean, take the slider off before you come out on the ice. Kind of rub the inside of that slider and get the extra goop out of there. But there, there's stuff that falls off of that slider and it will go down on the ice and it leaves black marks on the ice. So it's a good thing to have that clean. Thank you. And there you have it.